I'm not gonna call this meeting to order and I'm not gonna read to you again because then I have to emphasize because it all says evening and we're meeting in the afternoon. <laughs> we're declare a quorum and we're gonna start with workshop session C1, consideration discussion, possible selection of a bid from those bids received on that certain 23.707 acres of real property located at Holloman Drive and Deacon West Drive. Consideration of possible action with respect to resolution to authorize the execution of a contract for the sale of such real property, if applicable, pursuant to the terms of the selected bid and Section 272.001 of the Texas Local Government Code. That was Mr. Absen. Um, Dr. Ely. Uh, thank you, Dr. Yoke. In, in May of 2010, College Station ISD purchased um, a parcel of property then uh, on INGN Road um, before it was Holloman Drive South and before Deacon Drive West existed. Um, that parcel uh, was intended to be used for a school site uh, at some future uh, uh, school or school facility in some time in the future. Um, since that time, a number of things have changed in that area, including the, the, the opening of Deacon Road um, to, to the um, side of our property there, uh, and, and the changing of Holloman Drive South. Uh, there's been a, no, a lot of development that's gone on in that area as well, uh, with a couple notable uh, developments in that area that um, cater to university students uh, in our particular area. The opportunity to purchase uh, another property in the near vicinity uh, came open uh, earlier this year. Uh, and so what we have done is we have looked at the possibility of selling that tract, that 23.707 acres, uh, located on the corner of Holloman Drive South and Deacon Drive West. We put the property uh, through a sealed bid process. It was available beginning on May 5th, 2016. All bids were due by June the 16th, 2016 at 10 a.m. Uh, and here to give us more information and lead the board through any discussion or questions you may have is Mike Gentry uh, with West Webb, Auburn, and Gentry, and he was the person uh, who led us through this process. Mr. Gentry. Thank you, Dr. Ely. Well, you have in front of you um, a comparison chart. We have, we've received three bids, uh, one from DWS Development and two from Barracks Expansion, and the chart lays out the uh, simple basic information on these uh, three different bids. I'm going to summarize them for you. And I have the uh, full bid package available. If any of you want to see it, you reviewed it previously. But if you want to look at it again, I have it available. Uh, DWS development, $3.25 a square foot with $10,000 earnest money. Gross sales price of $3,356,200. We've estimated expenses to close that at $125,813. That, that number is made up of <coughs> broker's fees, engineering fees, appraisal, not appraisal, survey, and legal fees. Um, so the net cash would be $3,230,387, and that would close July 2016. The Barracks Expansion LLC uh, bid, uh, Number one is $2.42 a square foot, um, earnest money of $250,000, gross sales price of $2,500,000, estimated expenses $104,785, and that would net $2,395,215, and that would close in June of 2016. And the barracks expansion number two bid is uh, $4 a square foot, uh, with $10,000 earnest money, gross sales price of $4,130,707, estimated expenses $144,835, for a net cash uh, of $3,985,872. On the bid number two, it would close in March of 2017, uh, or 15 days after buyer notice, and is conditioned upon receipt of a, uh, an appraisal at the price of $4,130,707. Um, and was delivered with a lender pre-qualification letter subject to the appraisal. Any questions about those bids that you have? 
Dr. Yoke, and I'm going to abstain from discussion and voting on this matter. All right. Thank you, Mr. Harris. So one of the things, just to remind the board, when we put together um, the thought process of uh, Attempting to, to sell the hop track one of the things that we had put is a is a condition is that we would like to be able to close by July of this year so that we would have a feel for the amount of um, funding that we might have uh, as we go forward with making decisions for um, land acquisition for the school district so that was one of the, the key criteria um, you know Any other comments or discussion on that? Let me add to that, Dr. One other, uh, both both the uh, bidding and the contract you'll consider in a minute on the Mission Ranch tract are conditioned on a simultaneous closing of those two properties, you sell and and buy a new replacement property. So that's a part of the process. Well, I'd like to hear a little discussion before we just go straight to a motion. I, I think, you know, Mr. Gentry's brought up, you know, good points is that uh, part of it is, you know, part of our thought process is that we want to be able to have a simultaneous sale and purchase of the replacement property. And in order to do that, I think it's very important that we um, don't have uh, any cost to the district in making that exchange, which as we look at the uh, <coughs> bids that are before us, that it does help us limit down perhaps to what would seem reasonable as being good stewards of the school district's resources. Is that the rain from Highway 30? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think we've discussed in closed meeting before that all think the second piece of property is much better and much more conducive towards our purposes in terms of building a school. I think when we look at these three bids, bid one and bid two being, or I should say the DWS development bid and barracks expansion one bid, the DWS development is obviously a, <laughs> a much nicer bid, all, all else equal, uh, basically closing at the exact same time. Uh, the third bid, uh, being the second barracks expansion bid, well, I think it looks like it comes in for a lot more money. There's inherently an enormous amount of uncertainty with what that land might or might not appraise at a year from now. And the truth is the ability to switch these two pieces of property out cleanly for our purposes makes a lot more sense. So to, to me, uh, that DWS development Bid is our is our logical choice. Any other comments? I mean, I mean, just to add to the to the logical nature of the bid, if you know, according to the other contract we're about to to consider, if if a condition of it is that you know that that this needs to be done by July two thousand sixteen, I mean, it automatically knocks out that third one. One of these first two has to has to be the one, and just financially. We're talking nine hundred thousand dollars difference, so I don't have to pray about this one. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. And I agree with um, Dr. Weston's comments, and um, I think it's fortunate that um, we had this decision to make on a purchase that, not that it was even for speculation, but for the chance that this is happening. I think it's very prudent for the school district to look at this, and um, I think I will let Dr. Wesson make the motion since he was eager. There you go. Okay. <laughs> eager might not be the word, but uh, do you want to do, do you? I'd like a motion to accept one of the bids if you would. I, I would move that we accept the DWS development uh, incorporated bid of 325 per square foot. I don't know if there's anything more formal you need than that. If you want to add to it, um, Add to it that you, in addition to that, to enter into the contract on the terms of the selected bid, that would be adequate. I would uh, also move that we authorize the board president and superintendent of their appointed designees to enter a contract for the sale of property in accordance with the terms of the bid selected by the board and to do any and all things necessary to close on the sale of property as described in the contract, take all other action contemplated thereby. Thank 
Thank you. <laughs> I will second, second that. that. I will second that motion. <laughs> Any more discussion? All those in favor of the motion on the table say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Abstentions? One. So uh, the motion carries four, four, and with one abstention. Four to zero. Zero. Yeah, well, I don't know if you go wins, lost, tie, or. <coughs> So we'll move on to item C2, consideration possible action with respect to a resolution for the approval assignment and assumption of the contract to purchase 18.74 acres of real property located at the northwest corner of Rock Prairie Road West and Holloman Drive. Dr. Ely. Thank you, Dr. Yokin. As has been mentioned before, um, one of the reasons we were able to sell the hop track uh, is because we had an opportunity to buy uh, a piece of property that we felt was uh, of, of even greater value to the to the school district and our um, mission to put, put school facilities on the ground in that particular area. Uh, so what we have before you um, is the uh, assumption of a contract for 18.74 acres of property at the corner of Rock Prairie Road West and Holloman Drive. And with more information about that, uh, is Mr. Gentry. Uh, we initiated this process um, by looking at the corner of the uh, Mission Ranch project as a single family development. We've gone through engineering feasibility. We've gone through um, uh, environmental site assessment of the site. We have an a, a survey of the site. Um, that, that particular piece of property is well suited for an elementary school and is available to us. And if you're prepared to move forward on that, on a motion to approve that contract, it's currently in my name, and I'll assign it to the school district if you'll assume it. Any discussion? Thank you, Mr. Gentry. Now, it is my understanding that if something happens on the first one and they're unable to perform, we're still performing on this, correct? Both contracts are contingent upon the other contract closing. So... One of the key elements that we discussed months ago was that we couldn't afford to sell the hop track and not have the Mission Ranch track, uh, nor could we afford to buy the Mission Ranch track and not sell the hop track. So each contract says it's conditioned upon the closing of the other contract, and we will schedule those as near to simultaneously as possible uh, on the 29th of July, I believe is the date. Any other questions? Well, I make the motion that we approve the resolution as presented for the assignment and assumption of a contract to purchase 18.74 acres of real property located at the northwest corner of Rock Prairie Road West and Holloman Drive for the price of $3,061,179. Thank you. have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion, a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion on the table say aye. 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 All those opposed? So the motion carries 5 0. Thank you, Mr. Gentry. Thank you, Doctor. Do you need anything else? Uh, the only thing you might consider, we would not have to do it in July, is a motion on the Mission Ranch contract authorizing the closing of that. I don't, I don't know that we have any wording for that, but it would read the same as we did on the you, as you did on the bid. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that. If, Mr. Weston, if you'd like to go back and reread what you read. I will. Uh, so how about we, we move that we accept an assignment of the contract from Michael H. Gentry. Uh, we move that the contract includes procedure to perform and establish an escrow account from the seller's sales proceeds to cover the post-closing performance of the obligation to install a list station to service the property to be in service no later than October 15, 2017. Uh, we authorize the board president to negotiate and execute an escrow agreement for the foregoing purposes. And uh, we authorize the board president, superintendent, or their reported designees to do any and all things necessary to close on the purchase of the property as described in the contract and to pay the consideration for such property as described in the contract and take all other action contemplated thereby. Thank you. Do you have a second? 
So eloquently said, I will second that. <laughs> I memorized it. Discussion. So. All those in favor of the motion at the table say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion carries 5 0. Thank you. I think it, we will. Right. C3 consideration discussion and possible action related to the purchase of Luzini student data management warehouse application for the amount of $80,000 to be paid for from the 2015-16 general fund. Dr. Ely. Uh, thank you, Dr. Yoke. And we're uh, um, addressing this because we were not able to get it onto the um, regularly scheduled June meeting. Uh, so, so we had the opportunity uh, today. We, we went ahead and put it on today's uh, agenda. Um, for our, um, we, we have been contemplating the purchase of a student data management warehouse for a number of years, uh, and that has uh, been a part of our long range technology plan. It's been also a part uh, of uh, our, our, our district improvement plan. Uh, we have done some exhaustive research led by Mr. McIntyre, Mr. Hutchison, and others in the technology and curriculum departments to determine what was the best route forward to work with the, um, uh, the, the, the other. Um, products that we have like eSchool uh, and through that process the Mizuni product has come to the forefront uh, as uh, the best option for us moving forward. We're contemplating action for it right now uh, under our current 15-16 uh, school year budget uh, so that we could get the, uh, get the purchase of this done, be able to transfer some of our data over to the new product and prior to the start of next school year. You may recall this was one of the exceptional items that we had uh, uh, before you in the budget development process in earlier months when we came to the board during workshop. So with that, I've asked Mr. McIntyre to step up here in case you have any other questions on the product uh, or its capabilities. Um, and we would be looking for approval for the purchase um, uh, upcoming. Mr. McIntyre, if you have anything you would like to add or... You did a pretty good job there, Dr. Ely. I appreciate that. Dr. McIntyre, <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions for Dr. Ely or Mr. McIntyre? Would anybody like to... Um, I move that we approve, approve the purchase of the Mizuni Data Warehouse through the attached addendum to the College Station Independent School District SunGuard K-12 uh, education contract number 2633 for the price of $80,000 to be paid from the 2015-2016 general fund. Anybody like to second that? I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion on the table say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries 6 0. Great job, Mr. McIntyre. Mr. McIntyre, that was outstanding. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go ahead and adjourn. Thank you all for coming.